Right, right time, yeah, I've seen your video. Yeah? You sent me a challenge, challenge accepted. Only obvious. Yeah? You're fucking screwed, are you? Now listen to me, Simon. Yeah, before we go any further, because you, you're on the, making a show of yourself already on the video. Yeah? We'll get into where you're making a complete fool of yourself up and down around the place. You're the top of the country. Let's get one thing straight about your little pedophile of a brother. Yeah, before anybody knows. Everyone knows about the, uh, the recording gone out. The phone call, obviously you've seen that you're upset about it. Right, one second now. Your rent is nothing but a cowardly bastard. You claim to be fighting men, you're far from fighting men. Yeah? I don't know where you're getting this reputation about your kings, you're far from kings. I know king, I know fight man, I don't claim to be. Yeah? But I know I'm gonna bait you. Anyway, let's get back to what's called the pedophile, the nonsense of a brother you got. When he come here on this I was on this site, he come up to me and he said to me, Yeah, what are you turning your head for to me? He said, What's well, have I done something to you? Yeah? I said, What are you going on about? I said, Are you pulling me? Yeah? I'm not pulling you, but What's your problem? I said, if you got a problem, I said, we'll sort it out now, Andy. Yeah? And what did he do, the county bastard? He went milk white as a bottle in front of me. Pulled me jacket back, and he shit himself. Yeah? I said, let's have it, we'll sort it out now. He looked at me, started shaking, and pulled out the ammonia and squirted me into, the, uh, into the two eyes with it. Now, at the end of the day, I don't know if you think that there's fair play, Simon, but listen to me, that's a tramps game. That's a tramps game, exactly what your brother did to me. Anyways, cut a story short. I pulled my jacket over my face. There was no one lying on the floor, Simon, and there was no wife. Don't bring that, start bringing women into it. My wife never saved me. I never needed anyone to save me in my life. That night, fair play to it. Now, two neutral men. Nothing to do with the arguments. Sean Price and Sam Price. Sean grabbed them. He tried put, as I've got my coat on me, he's tried coming to me with a knife. Try sticking the knife in me. Your man Sean Price said, not today, it's not happening. Grabbed a hold of him and spun him. As I wiped my eyes, I got my vision back in my left eye. He run like a dog. And like a dog, that's what he is. He run. He run. Yeah? Run back to the van. The father-in-law, what's now, trying to get him into the van. I said, come on now, Anthony. I said, I've got one eye, Anthony. I said, I'll still smash you. I said, I'll still smash you, you dirty tramp. Yeah, works, man, yeah. I said, I'll still smash you. Got into the van, locked himself into the van. Yeah? Now, cut a story short. I don't know who done it, but someone come out the blue and smashed him to pieces and side to side. And then from what I seen, he was getting chased up and down around the side. And he, was, he must have done about three or four laps around, in circles. In circles, getting broke up at the same time. He ended up that bad of a fright. He ran straight through the barrier. Crushed straight through the barrier and took off like a fucking weapon. He got up there, up halfway up the road, into the garage. What did he do? Told everything to the police about this, that and the other done. Smashed up me van by Dougie Joyce. Give everything going to you fucking little grass and bastard. I don't like grasses. The whole country knows I don't like grasses. I've been dealing with my whole family for grassing all my life. Now yous, yous are grass and bastards because the police is on here every night looking and questioning for myself, yeah? You fucking little prick. Now you listen to me, Simon. Let's get back to you. We'll, le we'll leave your little um, nonce, your paedophile, the fella that what's now trying not to go to jail for rape, for raping a little 13 year old. The whole country knows about it because your, your brother's in jail now for five years, yeah? You want to talk about what's our rapist, yeah? Your, your brother's in jail for five years for rape. His own wife left him because he's a fucking nonce bastard. At the end of the day, come on boys. Things can't be that hard. 35 quid down the road there. If you want to go and get his hole, you go down the road and go and get it, won't So anyways, look, look, look fuck the nonsense for a second. Now you, Simon, on my three children's life, yeah? And I wouldn't swear their life in a lie. You've got to fight me. You have to fight me. You've sent the challenge. I accept your challenge. Me and you's fighting, and I swear my children's life, if I can't beat you, if I can't knock you spark out, Simon, listen, I'll get off this site and go. I'll go and go and hibernate somewhere, yeah? That's how confident I am of flattening you, because you're not a little fat prick. Last, the last fight I seen you fighting with the Bobcat, you fought a man that didn't want to fight you. You name five people to me, yeah, who you fought. You're the king. I've only ever seen you fight one fight to the man that didn't want to fight you. You try bullying the people into fighting you. At the end of the day, the man could have an all go, but Simon, you bullied that man to fight you when he didn't want to fight you. You bullying bastard, yeah? You try your luck with me, and we'll see what happens. You've got to fight. Now listen, let's get one thing clear, right. If you had something squirt in your eyes, Simon, which you're trying to, trying to obviously get in there now and want to fight me now because I've got a bit of blind eyes, because I can't see. I can't see out of that eye over a little paedophile squirting an ammonia into my eyes. Yeah? But, Simon, the way I am now, listen, I'm in shape. I'm fit as well, Simon. I will smash your fucking brains and I will punch fuck out of you and I will knock you into next week, you dirty dosser. Now, listen to me. I got the old, I, I, I spoke to the Woodsdale specialist inside the hospital. My brother in law, Greg Price, was standing there. Yeah? Got all my medication up there for my eyes. We have to keep going in. 10 to 11 weeks before I get my eyesight back in that right eye, you tramp. Now, your brother could have blinded me. Whenever I never would have seen my family and my children again. You think I'm going to forget about that? Do ya? You listen to me now, Simon. 10, 11 weeks, I get the all clear. I've got to go back and forward. You want to fight? I want to fight. I wanted to fight you for a long time because I never, I, I, I've never rated you. You've never been nothing, Simon. You've never been nothing. You never will be happen. Now, listen to me, Simon. 
When I get the all clear, you expect to call. I'll tell you, 10, 11 weeks anyway. What's that now? It goes into January. I'll tell you what, better again, I will give you a date right now when we will fight. 31st of January, the last Sunday of the month. How's that for you? You're a fight man. I'm not a fight man. You're a fight man. You're the one giving out the dates. Now listen, I'm only asking you one favour, Simon. One favour. Do not back out the fight. There's not, listen, there's going to be no backing out here. I will not back out this fight. 100% I won't back out this fight. I want to fight you. I want to fight you. And I want to hurt you. Because I'm going to retire you, Simon. 31st of January. Let's get it on. My eye be cleared and there's no excuses. You're not going to fight a man with one eye, Simon. You're not going to fight a man with one eye. Now listen. You put on your video there. Um, you've been on the phone to Ricky Price. Yeah? Which is obviously a relation of my own. Yeah? You're going to go down to his yard. You've been on the phone to Ricky Connors. And David, uh, David Connors. Yeah? You're full of shit. I've already been on the phone to Ricky, Con uh, Ricky Price today. No phone call. I've been on the phone to Ricky Price's son, David. No phone call and no contact. I've just left Ricky Connors' yard. Left his yard and he even said, he wanted your number to speak to himself because he wants to know what you're talking about. He hasn't spoke to you. Now, I've got no arguments with them boys. Nice, civil boys. Listen, they're the best pals you probably have up and down around the country. Nice, civil people. You, you're a dosser. You're a tramp. You claim to be a fight man. I'll tell you what, Simon. For me to knock you out, yeah, for me to give you a baiting, what kind of reputation are you going to give me? I don't want no reputation. I'm no king. I won't be ever no no king. I'm just a normal family man, Simon. But obviously, you've got something to prove. And let me tell you, I've took you up on the offer, and me and you's going to get on 100%. And I'll tell you what I've even done for you. This is me being a nice old fellow. Do you know what I mean? Spoke to Ricky Price, and Ricky Price will show you fair play. I've done your job for you. Last night, I went to Ophi Burton's place. Spoke to the man. He's going to give me fair play. Ricky Price is on the phone to... No, Ophi. Ophi Burton rang up Ricky Price, and they're sorting out the fair play now. Yeah? They're sorting it out, and they've been waiting now on your phone call. So now, pick up the phone and ring the man. The man will be waiting on your phone call. Because I've sorted all this out for you. I've sorted it for you. So there's no backing out of a me. Now, if you're any kind of man, you wait till my eyes ready. 10, 11 weeks, but I've already given you the date now. The 31st of January, me and you will fight. Go and do all your training, stick all your steroids. It's not sterilized. Let me just uh, sort your words out for you, because you can't speak, you dumb bastard. You. Yeah? Now listen, so Simon, it is called steroids. Go and stick them up your hole or stick them in your prick. Yeah? Do whatever you've got to do to go and boost yourself up, because you're going to be no good to me. You're going to be no good to me, Simon. And on my children's life, all I'm asking you, from the bottom of my heart, do not back out of this fight or make up with no excuses. Oh, he won't fight me this way, he won't fight me that way. And listen, Simon, let's get one thing right. If you want to go dirty, now listen to me carefully. You want to go dirty with me, that's my game, mate. You come down my road, you're going to lose. And then you're saying, what's that? You know where we all live and all my family, my brothers and father, this, that, and the other. Simon, the whole country knows, uh, well, sorry, Simon, the whole country knows where we live. I'm not hiding from nobody. My family didn't hide from anybody. You want to start talking about families and you want to get dirty? Sign me. I promise you now, you will lose. You will lose. But anyways, now listen, that's it. Don't make no more videos. Accept the challenge. I've accepted your challenge. Accept the date. Wait till my eyes fixed. One second, do you see my eye? I can't see out of it. I can't see out of that eye. Now you listen to me. Me and you is getting it on. You wait now like a man. You've sent your challenge. It's up to me pick, to pick where and when. That's it, sign me. Me and you's got to fight. I want to fight. There's no backing down here. I ain't going to smash you. I ain't going to break you in half, sign me. Now, you're not fighting no schoolboy. Listen, you're fighting a proper man. Do you understand me? A proper man. Now, listen to me. Let's get back to the little nonce. See, well, right. Sign me. Me and you's done. Ring Ricky Price in the morning and accept it. Accept the phone call. Ring Ricky Price is waiting for you to ring him. Or Ricky Connors. Ring them. They're waiting. Ophie Burton has already sorted it all out. We're going to go and fight private because you want to fight private, no crowds. I accept that, says Simon. I'll do whatever it takes to fight you. I will do whatever it takes to fight you and make a show of you. But one thing, when I beat you, you can keep your crown. You're, blow, you're blown up dildo. I'll tell you what it is about you, Simon. You're upset. You're upset over the WhatsApp messages, aren't you? The voice calls, nothing's been edited. On my children's life and my three boys' life, nothing's been edited. And I'll tell you one, Simon. You're upset because you were sucking my balls on that fucking phone, weren't you? Well, you're not sucking my balls, Simon. Tell me you didn't want to fight. Tell me, oh, I haven't got no arguments with you. You suck my balls. That's exactly what you've done. If you could have got through that phone, or if your lips could have come through that phone, you want to give me a blowjob, wouldn't you? You fucking knacker. That's exactly what you are. Now, Simon, I'm not going to say no more about you because I've already said enough. I don't, I, don't, I don't do this YouTube shit, and I won't be doing it again. This is me, the only video I'm making, and that's it. Go make another 10 videos for all you want, because that's all you're good for. Yeah, now listen to me, Simon. Me and you's getting it on, and you're not getting out of it. Now, I've got something else for you. See your little... Uh, what, Oh, hang on a second. Oh, yeah, one more thing, one more thing. 
the voice recording the video. You and your brother already said to me, our oh, brother's hand was broke to the ground, you got a bit of ammonia put in your eyes. Everybody knows the truth, Simon. Uh, Simon. Everyone knows the truth, you simple bastard. So at the end of the day, stop trying to uh, make, make, make up something or trying to make yourself look good because you're short. Sure. And um, listen, about the beef. <laughs> you're the talk of the country about the beef, yeah? Si Simon, listen, please look. Go listen to the phone call yourself, yeah? And tell me when I mention beef. When did I mention beef? And for a country man's bastard, as you're calling me a country man's bastard, yeah? You're making a show yourself, because when you get knocked out, if I'm a country man's bastard, that's who you get knocked out by, isn't you? You're making a show yourself, listen. And just accept like heroin addict. Yeah, let oh, on heroin addict. Does this look like a heroin addict to you? Fit as a fiddle, trained up to death, only for my eye, I'd be breaking your mouth right now, yeah? Look at me. Not wrong with me, Simon. No, I'm in the gym every day of my life, I run every day. I'm fit as a fiddle, Simon. You've got a challenge on your hands, mate. Accepted, done, dusted. 31st of January, Ophi Burton, Ricky Price is going to take us off and show us fair play. Now, anyways, let's stop talking about me. I'm going to get, listen, I'm going to pass you over to my little cousin. This is for the paedophile, the one what's in an the nonce, the one that was fiddling with a little 13 year old. It's all over the papers, up down stock, because the other brother's in jail now for it. Yeah? I'm going to pass you over to my little cousin, Martin Joyce. He wants to have a few words for an anti boy. There you go. Okay. I'm Martin Joyce, Dougie's cousin. I'm here to challenge you, Anthony. You went along the other day, you spread stuff in the bee's eyes, you carried on. So basically now your brother's at the saying that he won't let you come up and fight uh, Dougie because that, you're too, that Dougie's too old for you and that you're meant to be 18 or 19, you're 21. But anyways, that's besides the point. I'm 19, I'll fight you in, when is it? 31st of January. 21st of January. Two has got, you no excuses that uh, this and that and the other, you and all this shit talk like you used He's to. Older, you're three years yeah, older, you're three year older than me. You're a bigger boy than me. I was talking to you at your wedding. You're a bigger boy. You're taller. You're, you're heavier. You have it all. You have it all advantage. You're the king, as you say. So, basically, come out and fight, and we'll leave it at that. There, shake hands. But anyways, everyone knows who's going to win. Anyway, it's going to be us. Oh, but now listen to me. I'll tell you one thing for nothing. Yeah, McGinley and Joyce never get on. But obviously, look, my own children's half McGinley. Yeah, God bless them and save them, and my wife. Yeah, they're normal McGinleys, respectable people. Yous are a, pack, a breed of tramps. That's exactly what yous are. Now listen to me, before you start getting upset and things and saying whatever you want to say, ask your brother Christy if I'm speaking the truth. Carry on with the videos. And Anthony. And, and listen, and Anthony, you were begging me not to put the videos up. You walked up carry on. Well, Anthony. Yeah, carry on. And the videos of your father is going up. Not in the wedding, when he's telling us we're the best men. So if you're putting us down, your father must be saying something different. Now them videos, oh, they're nasty videos. I think the whole country, I want to see that there. Eh, eh, the king, as you call him. Praising me to death. Set the one name on the next video. One name, one thing about the videos. Ask Christy, ask your brother Anthony. Them videos are getting slapped up. Now keep it clean, you fucking dosser, you fucking tramp. Just be there and accept the dates. Do you understand me, Simon? That's all I want. Do not back out. The only person who can back out of this now or make an excuse is you. So look, that's all I'm saying for now. And just leave it at that now. Yeah? You fucking pack of hillbillies bastards. Peace out.